to exchange for media. It is that time of the year when most brands are loaded with discounts and offers. However, 2020 is not a usual year. This year saw one full quarter under lockdown hitting the businesses all across sectors. So do festive offers and discounts mean the same this year too? We can find out this and much more from our guest today, Mr. Ravi Santanam, Chief Marketing Officer, HDFC Bank. Welcome to the show, Ravi. Hi, Nazia. Hope you're safe and sound. <laughs> yes, so far. Thanks. Wish the same for you. Thank you. So Ravi, uh, your bank has just announced uh, several festive offers. Uh, but considering that this is not a normal festive season, many people have lost their jobs. Corona is still very much around. There is fear to step out. How is your festive offer this year different from previous years? First, uh, two, three things which are very, very different for us compared to last year. And uh, looking at the current pandemic situation, what we have done is uh, we have done a lot more work on the online side of things. So that you will see a lot more online offers available from our side, including a partnership with Amazon to start with. And on the offline side, we have gone much more wider in terms of regional partnerships. So we have 2000 plus regional partnerships that we have executed this time. So that even if you have to travel, you can find an offer within very near. So we have focused specifically on regional stores and regional offerings. Last time, if I remember right, we might have had around 750 odd regional store offerings. But this time we have just multiplied it and we are going across the country and we have more than 2000 plus regional offers already in place. And in addition, we'll be actually adding a lot more in the next day. So these are the two big changes that we have brought in. Also, I wanted to understand if the categories are same. I mean, like home appliances, phones, auto clothing, or you, the categories have changed. While the categories do stay, almost uh, whatever you just said is continuing to be there. And we do see a large amount of pent up demand in these categories you just mentioned. I think mobile today, for example, or a laptop today, for example, from being a fashion device, it has also become an education. It has also become a work from home device for many. So the use cases of the same electronics have changed. The use cases for many people when it comes to whatever other things you say, durables have changed. Like for example, a lot of people are looking at dish. A lot of people are looking at vacuum cleaners. A lot of people are looking at air filters. Now, these are all things which people would have said may not be necessary, but the current pandemic situation, the health consciousness of people have been and because of which you see a lot more on the health side. Mobile is now a device, an iPad or an app. On the television, for example, has become almost an educational device at many homes where people are just putting in a device and they're using their smart TV to listen to their online classes. So we have seen work from home and work for home as two distinct categories that have emerged and we see a lot of traction in those areas. That's one side of it where the traditional categories are finding new use cases. In addition, what we have seen in education is increasing numbers. And we have a tie up with most of the leading educational uh, online education providers. And some of these online education providers, as you know, if you want to go in for a two year course for your kid in say 11th and 12th, these are pretty expensive. So we have VMI offers on all of these people. On the health side also, we have a lot of offers on online gyms, as well as medicines and uh, other things, health and wellness side. And uh, we'll surely very soon be announcing a very, very big partnership with one of the foremost health service providers also in terms of the health partnership. So we see the traditional categories being there. And in addition, we're also adding a lot of new categories where we see because of the pandemic and because of the consumer changing behaviors and things are moving. I in fact wanted to, to come to consumer behavior. You know, uh, we last spoke six months ago when the pandemic had just started. So what are your observations in the six months? Uh, what kind of un un unemployment has increased? A lot of, lot of people have lost jobs. Finance becomes a very, very important uh, part of, you know, it is an important part of everybody's life. How has consumer behavior changed in these six months? See, uh, if I have to look at uh, March, then to April and May, April and May was more of a shock for most of us because none of us had experienced anything of this in our lifestyle. Life. So it was like supply just being stopped. Demand was there, but supply was just getting stopped. And uh, come June, July, August, we slowly understood what is this all about. And we slowly started unlocking a little bit over there. Supply started coming back. 
And uh, what we have seen is uh, slowly the confidence is coming back. The offline is still a little bit of a struggle for us compared to that, uh, compared to say what we saw in January. But the online has picked up. But if I have to look at July, was better than June, August was better than June. July and September is also better than August. So which also means that the ecosystem is slowly learning to live with this pandemic. And over a period of time, what we have also seen as consumer behavior, at least now is uh, what I call is the fatigue of uh, staying at home has come. Uh, we need to be extra careful about our own personal safety. We want our customers, our, uh, definitely our customers to be extra careful about their own personal safety and everything. But we do see a sense of fatigue. I, I'm sure you're uh, hearing that from all of your friends and colleagues and all those stuff saying that, how long? So that's the reason why if you ask us what is it that we are planning to do, this is also basis this kind of a fatigue that we see in the market. People are getting the confidence that slowly over a period of time, if they know how to handle this, like for example, wearing a mask and maintaining social distances, they can go about many of their things which they used to do earlier. Yes, maybe a travel is a little bit of a problem, maybe dining out is a little bit of a problem, but there are options of dining in. So we are seeing again dining in starting. Again, travel, it will take a little bit of time. We slowly started some green shoots happening on that side also. We do hear people wanting to go to nearby places for travel. May not be foreign travel over the next one, one and a half years maybe, but domestic tourism and domestic travel, I expect to increase over a period of time. So from a kind of uh, not knowing what to do, all of us were in that situation, including uh, me as consumer, you as a consumer. Now I think we are coming to learn to live with it and we do see that the majority of the pain area is over and there is a clear outlook in terms of uh, a far better outlook of what is going to happen than say compared to a May or compared to an August also. I see a definite improvement in confidence coming back over the last few months. So uh, you just mentioned that uh, June was better, uh, July was better than June and September, like things have been improving. So, but due to Q2 was a complete washout. So if I have to ask you in terms of numbers, you know, what kind of recovery did we see in Q2? No, Q1 was a washout. I'm confused. <laughs> so, okay. If you see a calendar year. See, so I, this, I would not even want to I would not even want to hazard a guess because all these percentages are not necessarily in the right way of comparing. See, when you have a zero revenue in the month of uh, say in April or May, and then if you do two. You can say even it is infinity, but that does not make no sense. So what we always do, at least in HDFC Bank, is we are taking January as because January is one of those 31 day months. And how are we against January? So that's what is our pre-COVID level because February is the 20th month. And even in March also, around March 15th onwards, we started getting into these kind of partial lockdowns, full lockdown, shutting down at various places kind of stuff. So if I look at January as a parameter, we are almost close to getting there. Your business is almost close to three quarters. You see, there are certain areas in every business which you will know, like for example, travel, for example, uh, eating out. Yes, obviously they are under severe stress. Online, for example, is back and more than what is there in January levels. So there are lots of positives that we see in the system and the numbers are more or less back at that level. And we are very confident that going forward, but starting today, you will see the animal spirit, the festive spirit of, these, uh, of the Indian economy will start to kick in. Actually, I wanted to ask about IPL and festive season. You know, how much do you think will be recovered during these uh, next 40, 45 days? See, the whole, see, the whole industry and uh, all of us uh, as brand marketeers, as marketeers, as uh, consumers are all betting on this festive season for a phenomenal recovery for the loss of the quarter two or quarter one as we want to know in the financial year. Yes, we had a very bad quarter as an Indian economy, but we as bank actually had a phenomenal performance. If you have seen our performance. This quarter is very important because I think all of us are putting our energy into it. And the biggest thing that uh, it, it might, I might call it a saving grace uh, or a blessing in disguise, IPL happening at this point of time. So we are, the, we are having a lot of consumers sitting at home, having the time to watch this IPL. And I have seen numbers, I'm sure you have seen numbers in terms of the number of hours people are spending on TV as it is dramatically. And uh, working at home, for example, if there is a match at 3.30, which will happen during the weekends now, I'm just going to turn my camera and have my TV on without sound and I'm going to watch it. And I've seen the first week numbers uh, of uh, the IPL. So I don't know whether I can quote them or not. I've seen those first week numbers. They are phenomenal. So cricket, 
starved country for almost six months. So they have picked it up. I, as a consumer, have been watching almost all the matches. I'm a cricket fan, and for six months I had no cricket to watch. So all of us are going to watching live sports again, and that's a very big thing. And uh, there's a lot of it riding on it. Looking at the first week numbers, I am feeling confident that that's good for us. So this season, everyone is confident and everyone is spinning hope. But then, uh, considering that the vaccine is still nowhere around and uh, cases are not reducing, the next quarter again is you know I have been speaking to agency people and marketers. They are little worried about that quarter. That what happens after festive when IPL is over? Would you want to talk about it? I'm not too sure because you know I don't want to have See, a pessimistic question. Nobody can hazard a guess on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm of the opinion, I'm just going to repeat what my MD said yesterday. He said, see it as glass full or glass empty. So I says yours. We want to see it as glass half full. Okay. And we in HDFC Bank strongly believe that we need to create the market also. We need to create the demand also. So one is to say that there is a demand in the market I will fulfill. The second is to say we will create the demand. And uh, we at HDFC Bank strongly believe that we will create the demand. What are some of the big campaigns that HDFC is launching in this festive season? So the biggest thing is uh, we are bringing festive treats back again. Last year also we started on October first, and this year also we started on October first. And as we talked about uh, in the beginning, compared to last year, this year's festive treats is bigger and it is better. We have a lot more online play this year. Looking at the current situation, we have added specific categories uh, like education, health, and uh, a lot of other things which consumers are currently doing on the gaming basis, whether it is work, work from home, work for home, all those categories have been added specifically. Regional uh, store partnerships have increased dramatically. And uh, in addition, we are coming in as one bank, right? And uh, this is the biggest thing that which a bank like HDFC Bank can offer, which differentiates us from the rest of the people who will offer these. So if you want to buy any kind of mobile thing, Yes, we will give you a 10 to 15 percent off depending on what kind of price you buy. And in addition, if you want the remaining 85 or 90 percent to be financed, we'll give you an EMI offer also on that. Plus, in on that EMI offer also, there is a loan offer available. There is a specific processing fee waiver available. So we are the only bank, we are the only company in this country where we can give you a deal on the product that you buy plus financing that purchase of that product also. And there is a deal on that finance also. So that's the difference and that's what we'll bring it to our customers. And it is far bigger, it's far better than last year. And uh, you will see the benefit of it uh, as you log into our site and see today. Also as a marketer, you uh, have you, in, I mean, you just said you're going big on digital, right, this year. Uh, how about oh, it's not only on digital. It's sorry? Not, see, this year we have, sorry. Uh, if you talk about the media plan, we have a bigger uh, media plan this year compared to last year. And uh, this year we will be doing ATL advertisements on television. So we are taking ATL route this year. One is the current pandemic situation. Second is what we see as numbers and how television and IPL specifically and think it all happening at this point of time. So we will be going into IPL to advertise about our offerings uh, and you will see us on And in addition to ATL, on, sorry, in addition to IPL, we are also having a partnership with Hotstar. So we are having a 100% SOV property highlights, which we are 100% partners. So highlights is presented by HDFC Bank. And in addition, we will also have other things which we are partnered with Hotstar. We'll be in OTT. We will be in the entire digital system. Uh, what I see, Nazia, is people are spending their time looking at screens. Like for example, if I look at my own screen and look at my screen time, I sometimes feel very happy. Because at the end of the day, in office, I never used to look at screen, but in, in sitting at home, it has almost been like seven hours, six hours on screen, and then in addition, TV. So what we wanted to do this year is, whichever screen you are spending your time as a consumer, we will give you. How so about you are on your mobile phone, off screen, this year, so because we are you know now that people it. will move out, you have done so many regional yeah. partnerships. Do you think outdoor and radio will eventually start picking up as a marketer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think you will invest in them? As of now, I have my own uh, reservations on outdoor, but in the outdoor, see, outdoor is one is outside in the room, and outdoor is one within the shop. I am putting a lot of energy in within the shop, so in shop, 
advertisements will be very big from our side and our partners are also helping us whether it is an automobile manufacturer or whether it is a two wheeler manufacturer whether it is some of the big large format retail stores or the mom and pop shop uh, mom and pop stores all of them are also in partnership with us and you will see us in the point of presence big time being there in addition our own branches are there 5500 branches the footprints that will be also be big data will take a call in a short period of time Ravi, before we uh, wind this up, uh, you uh, lead the marketing for such a big uh, banking brand. What kind of financial advice would you want to give to people in these times ahead of festive season? I mean, any any piece of advice that I, I'm not, you would want I, to I'm give. not qualified at all to give financial You're advice. You're very qualified. <laughs> Please do share the some advice. The only thing which I will, the only thing which I will say is the advice that I will want to definitely give is. Uh, all is possible with HDFC Bank festive treats. This festive, season, go and buy something for yourself, for your loved ones, for your family, for your extended family. Have a look at what we have to offer and get the maximum benefit of this. Ravi, thank you so much for speaking to us. We wish you a happy festive season, and uh, we wish happy you lots of sales. Happy festive season to you, you. And please do buy something in this festive season from HDFC Bank. I and have been buying all happy. throughout. <laughs> Thank you. I definitely will. Thanks, Ravi, for doing this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.